السلام علیکم فرینڈس کیسے آپ سب کے آپ سب کو ٹھیک ہوگا ویلکم ٹو یہ لوجی بہتیا شو آج میں اس ویڈیو میں ہم لوگ اپنی سٹڈیز کو کنٹینیو کریں گے بیوٹی ون زیرو ان کے سیونٹی فائیو لیکچرز ہو گئے ہیں آگے سے کنٹینیو کرتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے سیشن ایکسپائر ہوگی اس کو ان کر کے واپس سے کنٹینیو کرتے ہیں बस चला चला बस आठ या सिक्स और यहाँ पर इसकी सस्पेंड ले लेते हैं इस इस नॉट ट्रू अबाउट फोटोसिंथेसिस Biogeography it provides a very strong evidences to study uh, the evolution of different species. Um, biogeography को हम इस तरह से define करते हैं कि that is a study of uh, different uh, study of the distribution of different species in different geographical regions of the earth. Mainly हम हम अपनी earth को divide करते हैं into six different uh, geographical regions and uh, the distribution of uh, these species in these geographical regions um, that is called as the biogeography. So it is study of the life forms in different parts of the world which have uh, distinctive evolutionary. And these geographical uh, regions, they have uh, characteristic biodust and they have their own uh, characteristic distribution of uh, different species including the plants and the animals. So each region can be uh, distinctively identified from the other region. So in uh, biogeography, uh, both essay taxon which are closely related and they have uh, similarities. So these uh, taxon are observed to be uh, closer together than more distantly related groups. Which means that these groups which have similarities with each other, in their uh, habitats, ke mein, geographical distances are comparatively less. But if these distances increase, then these similarities increase. And such populations, which are in geographical regions and geographical habitats, mein survive kar rahe they are more dissimilar from the other taxons. And similar environments, which are found in the different areas, but the same species may not be found in all places where they could be. It means that if there are the similar environment, a as a habitat, a geographical region, mein hai, the same yeah, habitat, similar hai. physical environmental conditions are present in the other geographical region. So is, it is not compulsory that those species geographical region A may be found in habitat, mein, a similar habitat, mein, geographical region B may be found. So both regions, although they have uh, similar physical conditions, similar environmental conditions, but they have different types of species. And then um, at, there are evidences that there are the regions which have identical climate, but they have uh, different floras and faunas. This is called as the Wilkins law. Mostly, what is the responsible as the factor responsible as why there are different species, although the environment is same, it is coming from the different factors. And the most important factor is the distance and the barriers which are present between these two habitats. And it is not allowing the one species to migrate and move and reach the similar habitat in the different geographical region. For example, cactus is the one type of plant, and uh, the members of family cactus. 
नॉर्थ अमेरिकन डेजर्ट्स लेकिन वो स्पीशीज जो कि इस रीजन में है दीज आर फैमिली के एसी और वो स्पीशीज जो कि सदर्न अफ्रीकन डेजर्ट में है दे बिलोंग टू फैमिली यू फॉर दिस सो देयर इज डाइवर्सिटी बिटवीन द स्पीशीज ऑल्दो एनवायरनमेंट इज सेम एंड द रीजन इज जियोग्राफिकल बैरियर्स वो स्पीशीज जो कि इस रीजन में है एंड दो स्पीशीज व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन दैट रीजन दे हैव अ लार्ज डिस्टेंस इन बिटवीन देम इनके बीच में इन ब्रीडिंग के चांसेस बहुत ही लिमिटेड है ऑलमोस्ट इंपॉसिबल इसलिए लार्जर द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू रीजंस ऑल्दो एनवायरनमेंट इज सेम हियर एनवायरनमेंट इज सेम हियर लेकिन यहां पर स्पीशीज की डाइवर्सिटी डिफरेंट होगी और वो स्पीशीज जो यहां मौजूद है दे वुड बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दीस स्पीशीज एज कंपेयर टू दैट अगर ये बीच में ये बैरियर ना हो फॉर एग्जांपल दिस रीजन व्हिच इज अ स्ट्रेट तो वो स्पीशीज जो कि इस रीजन में मौजूद है दे आर वेरी मच सिमिलर टू ईच अदर बिकॉज़ दे डोंट हैव एनी बैरियर इन बिटवीन देम सो दे गेट द चांसेस फॉर इन ब्रीडिंग देयरफॉर स्पीशी पॉपुलेशन ये बायोडाइवर्सिटी यहां पर कंपैरेटिवली कम है एज कंपेयर टू दैट रीजन व्हिच हैज अ लार्जर लैंड मास एज अ बेल सिमिलरली विद इन अ रीजन ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर ऑफन क्लोजली रिलेटेड और इस रीजन में जहां पर के बैरियर्स कम है अगेन बिकॉज़ ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैव चांसेस टू माइग्रेट फ्रॉम द वन रीजन टू द अदर रीजन यहां पर हमें स्पीशीज के बीच में सिमिलरिटीज ज्यादा नजर आती है फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर एट दिस पॉइंट एंड इफ यू आर हियर एट दिस पॉइंट तो यहां पर स्पीशीज के बीच में तो बहुत डिस्टिंक्टिव डिसिमिलरिटीज नजर नहीं आती बिकॉज़ डिस्टेंस इज शॉर्टर एंड द स्पीशीज कैन माइग्रेट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट दे कैन इनब्रीड एंड दे देयर पॉपुलेशंस आर वेरी मच सिमिलर टू ईच अदर मोस्टली डिस्टिंक्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जो के डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बैरियर्स की वजह से अपीयर हो रही है इट इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर अपीयरेंस ऑफ डिफरेंट कैरेक्टर्स इन different textures and these barriers are of three types for example the physical barrier jaise ki mountains hain rivers hain there are oceans and there are seas uh, in ki wajah se population which is present in the region a it can't move towards the region b so therefore uh, there is an isolation or is reproductive isolation ki wajah se region a or region b ki species they become very much different from each other the other type of barrier is the climatic barrier uh, uh, there are a sensitive species uh, ectothermic species and endothermic species which as species hain jo ki bahut hi narrow tolerance range rakhti hain for example millipedes hain centipedes hain um, फॉर एग्जाम्पल अर्थ फॉर्म्स हैं ये एक ऐसे हैबिटेट में सर्वाइव करते हैं जहाँ पे तो मॉइस्चर ज्यादा है अब ये सिर्फ उसी ही एरिया में कन्फाइंड रहेंगे जहाँ पर मॉइस्चर ज्यादा है और ये किसी भी ड्राई हैबिटेट को क्रॉस करके एक और मॉइस्ट हैबिटेट तक कभी भी मूवमेंट नहीं करेंगे तो रिजल्ट दे वुड भी आइसोलेशन ऑल दो के रीजन ए और रीजन बी के बीच में डिस्टेंस कम है लेकिन तब भी अर्थ फॉर्म उस ड्राई एरिया को क्रॉस नहीं कर सकते रिजल्ट रीजन ए और रीजन बी के अर्थ फॉर्म की स्पीशीज लेवल डिफेंट फॉर्म की चलते अदर टाइप ऑफ बैरियर टू बॉलॉजिकल बैरियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल रीजन ए और रीजन बी के बीच में देखिए पॉपुलेशन ऑफ रेडेटर देर फोर वो एनिमल्स जो कि उनके लिए इजी प्रे है दे वुड नेवर टेक द रिस्क ऑफ माइग्रेटिंग फ्रॉम रीजन ए टू रीजन बी so the presence of predator which is a biological factor that is bringing the reproductive isolation between two populations and two regions resultantly their species will be uh, dissimilar from each other with the passage of time plate tectonics that is another topic which uh, which can be discussed in detail but not here so we know hamari earth is made up of different plates and these plates are moving away from each other aur uh, in these plates ke ek dusre se dur hatne ki wajah se continental drift ki wajah se uh, there is an isolation because this is a barrier mountains ki formation sea ki formation distance sabar jana uh, these are uh, these are the responsible factors for uh, the reproductive isolation and for the formation of new species so it can be explained with the help of this example these are the tectonic plate of south america africa india antarctica and australia if i take only one example which is the mesosaur mesosaur is a uh, aquatic reptile which was present during the jurassic period fossil record of mesosaur it has been observed in south america in africa so africa or south america in past time they were together aur inke beech mein distance jo hai wo bahut zyada kam tha resultantly mesosaur ki population south america mein bhi survive kari thi aur africa mein bhi survive kari thi but in present time there is a larger distance given the deepest ocean of the world antarctica or uh, atlantic ocean is present between south america and africa so therefore मिसोसॉर्स के लिए पास टाइम में दैट वाज नॉट पॉसिबल कि वो इतने डीप ओशन को साउथ अमेरिका से क्रॉस करना शुरू करते और अफ्रीका अफ्रीका तक पहुंच जाते दिस इज द बैरियर व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन दिस टाइम लेकिन पास टाइम में व्हेन मिसोसॉर्स दे वर सर्वाइविंग द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन अफ्रीका एंड साउथ अमेरिका वाज वेरी शॉर्ट इसलिए मिसोसॉर का इस रीजन से उस रीजन तक माइग्रेट कर जाना दैट वाज पॉसिबल बट विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम ये डिस्टेंस एक्सपेंड हो गया अब वो एनिमल्स जो साउथ अमेरिका में हैं वो अफ्रीकन रीजन तक नहीं पहुंच सकेंगे बिकॉज़ ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अटलांटिक ओशन व्हिच इज एक्टिंग एज़ अ फिजिकल बैरियर सो दैट्स हाउ बायोजियोग्राफी इज हेल्पिंग अस टू अंडरस्टैंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ past species and present species in different regions okay now let's start our reading ki taraf hum log ka main topic hai chapter number 76 evolution and biogeography videos ki ho gayi hai ab reading ki taraf chalte hain Geography is the study of geographic distribution of plants and animals, and studies the life forms in the different uh, parts of the world, having distinctive evolutionary histories. Geographic regions have characteristics, char- characteristic bi- uh, bio. 
little species found in similar environments may uh, appear similar due to convergence ठीक है उसके बाद वहाँ का सर regions number वन पर regions with identical climate have different floras and faunas buffons law ये हमारा buffons law था उसके बाद such as such as cactus in North American deserts and you free ठीक है फाउंड इन साउदर्न अफ्रीकन डेजर्ट आर टू डिफरेंट स्पीशीज बट दे हैव वेरी सिमिलर मोर्फोलॉजी जोग्राफिक बैरियर्स क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड विद ब्रेक्स बिटवीन टेक्नोनॉमिक ग्रुप्स ठीक है विद इन आर रीजन ऑर्गेनिजम आर ऑफन क्लोजली रिलेटेड अक्रॉस इन्वायरमेंटल ग्रेडियंट्स एंड लोअर टेक्नोनॉमिक ग्रुप्स Often show narrow distribution than higher. Then higher species can migrate. Often show narrow distribution than higher species can migrate between closely situated areas and breed and interact with each other. Distinct distribution is the phenomena where a taxon with the distinct with the disjunct. Distribution is one that has two or more groups that are related but are considerably separated from each other geographically due to barriers. These barriers can be classified as physical, ocean, rivers, mountains, deserts, um, deserts, etc. Prevent populations to migrate due to these, these physical barriers. Climatic populations adopt to a particular climate are unable to migrate to another climate that is warm cold moist climates and biological a point a and point b are separated by an area inhabited by a predator which prevents the uh, migration of prey from point a to point b barriers these barriers cause uh, reproductive isolation between two groups of a population Thus affecting their evolution, plate tectonics and uh, continental drift has also affected the evolution of many organisms. In this lesson, the students will learn about biogeography, evidences gathered in biogeography. Okay. So our first one, our third one, that we do this book of all the time. She can do. Try a 
सिख लैंड रहता है सही हो गया ये अफ्रीका साउथ अमेरिका इंडिया एंटार्कटिका ऑस्ट्रेलिया
we can find a missing link with the help of fossil between present species of snake and their ancestors. So friends, our video is here. Video is here. Okay, complete. We are going to our reading. Paleontology is the study of fossils that provides some of the most direct evidence for evolution of fossils that evidence of plants and animals that existed in the past and have become incorporated into our crust. These fossils provide a direct link between our species and its ancestors. The colus Steno 1638 to 86 laid the foundation of paleontology as a field of study. He is considered as a father of geology and strain and stratigraphy paleontology. So he, James Hutton proposed the evolution of earth must be old and hmm, evolution of earth must be old and the observable process produce small changes that accumulate over time. William Smith studied rock layers and observed the distinctive differences between the fossil fossils belonging to different layers of the same rock. A fossil is a preserved remains, impression or trace of any one once living thing for uh, from past geological age. For example, bones, shells, exoskeletons, stone uh, imprints of animals or microbes. Objects preserved in amber, hair petrified wood, oil, coal, and DNA remnants. Uske baad paleontology is an emerging field of geology which can lead which can lead to a new concept of age of the earth. The history of earth extends back through a, through vast periods. The processes at work today are the same that have been operating throughout the entire history of Earth. This concept is called un uniformitarianism or actualism. Ge uh, Georges Cuvier proposed that fossils resemble but are not exactly the same as modern species. Many past species are extinct. Mary Anning discovered several marine fossils of Jurassic period. Darwin proposed his theory of natural selection based on evidences from fossil record. Fossils provide missing links between ancestors and descendants. In this lesson, the students will learn about paleontology of fossils. Sahyoga.
important concept in evolution and phylogeny as it is emphasis emphasizes on divergent evolution this means that a common ancestor led to evolution of different genes or structures in different species in taxa study of the limbs of vertebrates has provided the evidence for um, homology and divergent evolution anatomical observation of limbs of humans horses birds seals turtles etc clearly indicates the similarity between them despite these anatomical similarities all these organisms use their limbs for different purposes holding or grabbing walking flying swimming etc these similarities indicate that this limb structure emerged from emerged from a single ancestor and later on adaptations were done uh, based on the habitat habitat environment and lifestyle of the descendant in this manner one can trace back the life back to its origin in uh, phylogeny evolution can be viewed as as by as bifurcations bifurcations in a phylogenetic tree okay analogy is another important concept in comparative anatomy as it focuses on convergent evolution this concept explains the similarities in terms of independent evolution as these features have evolved in separate species and lineages independent of any common ancestor this means that the last common ancestor did not have these similar functions similar features rather these similarities evolved in parallel depending upon the environment and lifestyle wings of birds bats and insects are the examples of analogous structures one can superficially find these structures evolutionary related based on their same function however comparative study reveals the difference in the three structures ठीक है which the vestigial organs are also an important evidence study in comparative anatomy these are the organs which once served from which once served some functions but uh, during evolution they they are no longer required to fulfill that role either completely or partially despite their loss of function these organs are retained in the bodies of organisms human verification sorry human vermiform human vermiform appendix is the classic example of vestigial organs in other uh, in other herbivore mammals the appendix host cellulose are uh, degraded degrading microbe microbiota but in the case of humans it does not perform any such function at all similarly uh, vestigial hindlimbs 
कंप्लीट हम चलते हैं आगे अपनी रीडिंग कर लेते मोलिकुलर बायोलॉजी ऑफ मॉडर्न फील्ड ऑफ साइंस दैट इज द स्टडी ऑफ डीएनए एंड जेनेटिक मटेरियल्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिजम्स मोलिकुलर बायोलॉजी हैज फील्डेड अ वेल्थ ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन एवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशनशिप्स एवोल्यूशनरी रिलेटेड एनिमल्स हैव सिमिलर डीएनए डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम देयर कॉमन एंसेस्टर्स इन अ सिमिलर फैशन हाउ फोसिल इज डेड हाउ फोसिल इज डेटेड मोलिकुलर बायोलॉजिस्ट कैन एस्टिमेट द टाइम इलेप्स बिटवीन डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ डिफरेंट स्पीशीज एंड देयर कॉमन एंसेस्टर बेस्ड ऑन देयर जेनेटिक देयर जेनिक और प्रोटीन सिक्वेंस दिस इज This is done by studying the structure of proteins and comparison of DNA sequences of different organisms. This comparative study provides us the similarities and dissimilarities in the gene and protein sequences of related organisms. Based on the dissimilarities, um, the evolutionary distance or time can be estimated. This estimation takes uh, in uh, account the takes in account the mutations with which normally occur in dna of the organisms at a constant rate see here uske baad all the life present on the earth on earth share a universal genetic code this genetic code reconnects the information in dna to the functioning proteins which nucle which nucleotides which nucleotides code for which amino acid in proteins this code can be studied via dna or sequencing in this technique the border of nucleotides is we read and this information is the analyzed is analyzed for identification of similarities and dissimilarities this similarities and dissimilarities are very helpful in relating organisms based on their evolutionary linkage In this lesson, the students will learn about molecular biology DNA sequencing. So, move to our post-assessment.
environments expected by that environment imposed by that environment so those characters which are acquired during the lifetime of that animal in these are acquired characters which the next generation ko transfer ho jata hai so after the law of use and disuse that was the theory of lamar in her inheritance of acquired characteristics and can be explained with the help of uh, the example of giraffe and in this case um, uh, lamar ne ye propose kiya ki giraffe ke ancestors they have the shorter necks because wo ek aise environment mein rehte the jahan par uh, trees ka size uh, ya unki height bhi shorter thi isliye giraffe ke ancestors ko they don't have to make any struggle or they don't have to pull their necks to catch the leaves or eat the leaves from uh, the trees lekin jaise jaise environment change hota chala gaya climate change hoti chali gayi uh, chote trees khatam ho gaye shrubs khatam ho gayi aur wahan par uh, taller trees survive karna shuru ho gaye resultantly giraffe ke ancestors ko they have to pull their necks aur unko uh, darakhton ke jo taller darakht the unme se patton ko pakad kar uh, khana pada wahan par to ye that was the one character which they adopted during their lifetime and with the passage of time because now they have to make struggle to eat those leaves from the taller plants taller trees they uh, their neck length was increasing so now they have longer necks and that character of longer neck which they acquired during their lifetime they transferred it to their next generations lamar ki theory ko hum is image ki se uh, explain kar sakte hain that is the ancestor of the giraffe according to lamar was shorter in height but at the same time uh, trees were also short or the shrubs were also short so there was no struggle to catch or to eat these leaves from these short trees but with the change of environment trees ki height increase karna shuru hogi aur resultantly giraffe they have to make struggle and they have to stretch their neck to catch or eat these trees from higher or taller trees so resultantly they acquired uh, an increase in length in their neck or the neck was bit longer as compared to previous generation so this is only generation 1 2 3 and 4 so they were acquiring this character during their lifetime the next generation faced uh, different environment yahan par uh, shorter shrubs shorter trees they were eliminated or maybe uh, they were in shortage or uh, taller trees they were in abundance so uske result mein giraffe ki population ko they have to stretch more their necks resultantly neck ki length or increase ho chali gayi so that was the acquired character during their lifetime in a morphological and anatomical feature and they transferred this feature to their next generation so that was the theory of lamar of inheritance of acquired characters to the next generation but that theory was rejected later by the august wiesman during 1896 and 1910 august wiesman um, he performed a series of experiment and he proved that uh, those characters which are achieved during the lifetime they can't be transferred to the next generation in his experiment what he did he cut off uh, the tail of the mouse so that is the progeny of the parents and he amputated their tail and then he uh, inbred these parents but their offspring they have tail so the loss of tail this character was not transferred to their next generation and he uh, performed this same experiment for 19 generations and every time when he cut off the tail this feature was not transferred to the next generation so therefore august wiesman he suggested that those characters which are uh, occurring or they are appearing in the morphological features or the somatic tissue of that or the organisms these characters are not transferred to the next generation and only those changes and variations which occur in germ cells they are transferred to next generations so the theory of acquired characters and its inheritance that was rejected so these characteristics which are um, those characteristics or those variations which are appearing in dna which is actually the hereditary material only these characters can be transferred to next generation so that was the foundation of uh, modern genetics which means that the dna is hereditary material and the traits which are expressed by the genes only these traits and characters can be transferred to next generation so although the theory of lamarck was rejected but it is still considered as an important step towards modernization or advancement of the field of evolution
for example appendices in rodents and other mammals based on his observation mark proposed the law of inheritance of acquired characters according to his proposal if an organism developed a characteristic feature through adapting through adapting to a new way new way of life during his lifetime it would pass this adaptation on to its offspring the classic example given is that is that of the length of giraffe's neck he postulated that as the giraffe's ancestors searched for richer food supply they stretched their necks while trying to reach higher branches and trees these um, stretched bodies were passed on to their next generations uske baad hai with the advancements in the field of genetics this theory was rejected the experiment con- conducted by wisman and his theory of germ plasm was paramount in rejection of lamarck's theory wisman cut off the tails of mice in his lab for successive or uh, 19 generations however on contrary to lamarck's theory the length of the tails of each generation remain remained same thus wisman postulated his germ plasm theory and suggested that the changes which only occur in the germ cells of the parents would be inherited by both sisters while the nerve gen, gen uh, while the new generations will not acquire the changes occurring in the somatic cells of the parent the characteristics acquired during the lifetime of the parents are not transferred to their offspring the only changes which occur in germ cells or dna will be transferred on to the next gen- new generation on these grounds the marx theory was rejected by the scientific community so yeah. in this lesson the student will learn about lamarck's theory of evolution germ plasm theory theek hai uske baad hai assessment 